So, like I said in my last video, I'm going to show how to give a 5-in-1 um, vaccination to old Justice here. And my cameraman is, a, he was a vet, vet tech, he's well trained, and he has explained to me how to do this. He may interject if I start doing anything wrong. I've never done this. Um, but it doesn't go in there, silly. Um, what it is, I went to Walgreens to pick up this. Now, this was like 14 bucks for a vet visit to get this done. You're talking 60 to 70 bucks. So, this isn't necessarily a prepping thing for like after shit hits the fan. Because you're not going to find this after shit hits fan because this needs to be kept refrigerated. Um, if it's not kept refrigerated, then it can be dangerous to the dog. Am I correct on that? It will be not effective at all. It, it destroys the proteins in them. Okay. So, what we're going to do is, uh, first of all, let's open it up. And what he told me is that, I'm going to get poked by this needle. Is there a little on it? Okay. Is there a little on it? We've got two bottles in here. Um, one is a powder, which you can see right there, maybe. And the other is a liquid. So, now, is this the type syringe that is going to be able to... You just pull it off. No, yeah. from the top of it, pop it, like a pop with your hand. Like pop that? it, yeah, just pop really? it. Really? Yeah. The needle's not going to go through my hand? Nope, it won't go through your hand. <laughs> just pop it. You'll hear a pop. There you go. Wow. Oh. Okay, so now this will unscrew and oh there's the needle. Yeah, you just want to pull that cap. Okay. So we got a needle. We're good there. Now we've got just being a vet tech, he's got two extra needles here. You don't need an extra needle for it, but as he said, every time you poke this through there, it dulls the needle, the needle a little bit. And that's just going to be a little bit more trauma on the dog. I mean, if you've only got one, it's not going to be that bad. But why put your dog through any more trauma than he needs? That's the way I look at it. So, let's first off, kind of throw a little bit of rubbing alcohol in the area. Well, if you would stay still. Come here, dude. Come here. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now, what we're going to do is keep him there. Uh, liquid first, right? We'll draw the liquid first. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there. You're going to have to pull the bottle upside down and draw it oh. up. Because okay, so I'm going to push it back in and bring keep, it up. Keep the needle in the liquid. So one thing I'm worried about is getting air in him, so I'm going to keep it right there. Is that something you should be concerned about? Uh, air underneath their skin won't hurt them. It's is when the air, air in, in the, the veins. In the veins, okay. Alright, so we've got all that. Now I can see I've got a lot of air in there, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, push that out. It's getting reconstituted anyways. And then, I'm going to put this powder in there. Put the liquid into it. Into the vial. Into the vial? Mm -hmm. And... And... I think I already did that. Alright, now shake the bottle up. a little bit. Shake the bottle. Alright, and then draw that liquid up. Because now and now's where I want to change the needle, right? No, because you're going to put that needle through it again to draw it up, but oh, then right. okay. change it. Alright, so then we're going to pull back out. And get all that in here. Without getting any air. Of course, I can push the air out. Okay. So now is when we want to change the needle. 
Now, like I said before, that's not necessary, but it's just a little bit more comfortable for the dog. So why not do it? And he's got some, so is that going to pour out if I would sit down? Yeah, this will sit it down, sit it with the point. There you go. Don't want any the pouring. brain that is me. This fucker gonna poke me when I open Just it. Just pull it. You pull it apart. Nah. We're going tactical. <laughs> you know I'm gonna lay my hand right on that freaking needle. <laughs> oh, it does have a cover on it. Okay, cool. I couldn't tell. We do know that justice. He's all sleeping and shit. Okay, now we're gonna take this needle and Indeed. put it on heel. I should have left the cap on and done that, but that's all right. Yeah, I guess I would've been smart. Yeah. Justice. Okay, now you can grab the skin either way, from what he says. But he likes to grab it this way. And I'm going to push it in. Try not to push it so far it gets into my skin. Oh, stop. I'm going to have to pin him down. He just farted. Yeah. <laughs> That's so wrong. Alright, I'm push it in. Just quickly put it in. And that's it. He's done. You can give the area a rub if you want to. Oh, I didn't do that. Yeah. Didn't know I should. It's as easy as that. Now I gotta get rid of all these needles because we look like a crack house. Um, thank you to uh, my brother D. My dog is now vaccinated. The only thing is I have to take him to the vet to for the parvo shots. Uh, or no, the uh, rabies. Rabies. Because uh, you can't you can't give that to them yourself. So there you go. That's how you give a 5-1 vaccination shot to a puppy. Talk to you all later.